I'm Joe Negrelli. I'm 67 years old. I'm a real Stonewall veteran, as well as SAGE member, participant, and volunteer. Preceding Stonewall was a very unfortunate time. There wasn't a lot of hope for gay people. We were fighting just to exist, and Stonewall changed all that. The civil rights movement was existing in the West Village. The anti-war movement existed in the West Village. The women's liberation movement existed and gay people started to have a voice and they too wanted to be recognized. So they were now coming out uh, in mass to uh, demonstrate for themselves. After the first garbage can was thrown, police, they were afraid of people who they considered cockroaches. That would be the best way to describe it. That they, they really had a very low opinion of uh, gay people, and they retreated immediately back into Stonewall afterwards. It took more than a half hour before additional policemen arrived to rescue the police inside the Stonewall bar. There's many long-term impacts of uh, Stonewall. I do believe that throughout the heartland of the United States, gay people are becoming aware of themselves. Because of being gay, I was estranged from my family for over 40 years. Um, and when I tell you that I was estranged from them, I really did not know where they lived or who they were even. I would hope that other gay people don't go through that. Sage is important. Um, for myself and for other gay people because it provides you a community, a setting where you can be yourself. We have health fairs several times a year. We have uh, computer learning classes as well as book clubs. I volunteer at the food pantry here at Sage. All I do is make sure that your name is on the list and I give you for free nutritious food that can sustain you I would hope that our families and friends come and speak up anytime they see an injustice immediately and support us in that endeavor of being openly gay.